everyone thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel ah, today i am here with a spooky story time plus get ready with me because let's get real um i have to go to work after this um but i really want to do this because it's just the perfect time it's october which is halloween's around the corner and it's cancer awareness month which pink hello so um yes um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this story. Um, you guys, just a heads up, I really try to work my hair today for you guys, but I just really, I just really didn't have it in me. So this is the best I could come up with. Um, I'm sorry. I hope, I hope, I hope it, you know, I hope it's just... Anywho, grab your wine, your coffee, your snacks, whatever it is that you want to, and, um, join me on this spooky story time. Um, this is the time that a hellhound showed up to my door. <sighs> I'm just gonna leave it right there. I'm just gonna put this right here. Enjoy the story, you guys, and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yes, story time. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Glamoy um palette. I really never heard of this brand before, but I got them a yes, oh yes subscription um box. Fifteen bucks, you get five um full size items. I'll try to leave the link down below. This is totally worth it, you guys. And um, what I really like about this palette is that it's um October Cancer Awareness theme. I love it. It has like um names like hope um treasure flawless amor heavenly fearless like i love this i love the whole concept of this i really was gonna pass this on but i was like no this is this is something really special whoever created this palette clearly like put all their love into it and like i said because it is um october and it's um cancer awareness and it's also october and halloween's around the corner i thought it'd be perfect for me to make um a spooky story time slash get ready with me because i literally have to go to work like an hour and a half so let's get started. I did my foundation and um, brows and contour off camera because boring. Like, I don't know if you're over it. I'm over it. I really am over doing the whole face in front of camera. Unless you were to request that, I'll do it. But yeah. You guys, I'm not really going to go into detail on what shades I'm using because, like I said, I don't want to make this video longer than it should be. If you guys have any questions, just let me know down below. I'll answer whatever is they need. Okay, so this story takes place, or this event in my life takes place when um, I was pregnant of my now seven year old. And so, when I was barely pregnant of my seven-year-old, at the time, I used to live in another, um, I used to rent a little room for, like, $400 or whatever. Um, I had my mom living with me, and I brought her along, and, um, my husband at that time used to live with his dad, um, in Los Angeles. So, of course, a fly had to come in just when I started to film. I don't understand what is it with these little animal thingies, but let me try to get rid of it. Sometimes I really want to tell my neighbor, can you like really pick up your dog's shit because literally flies are everywhere and this is just getting over, um, out of hand. Anyways, where did I leave off? So this specific event of my life happened, um, I don't know, about seven years ago when I was barely pregnant of my now seven year old. And so at that time it was when, you know, my mom and I had gotten kicked out of, um, one of my family members house and, um, I had just turned 18. I was working at this warehouse. Um, actually, I was already working as a waitress at um, a fast food restaurant. And I remember, like, I remember this, like, since, like, if, as if it was yesterday. I had found a room for, like, $350 or whatever. And, you know, I told the lady, you know, I need to take my mom with me or whatever. And, you know, I was wondering if it's okay. Because it was just one room, you guys. It was literally just one room. And so she was like, yeah, that's fine, you know, just charge $400 instead of $350. i am like, okay, sounds fair. Now, at that time, $400 was a lot, considering the fact that I will only earn, like, I don't know, my paycheck was, like, $220. i am never going to forget that. My paychecks were, like, $220 a week, you guys. I mean, it was doable, but pff, that's a lot of money, you know. That's, like, I don't know, two of your checks a month, you know. And so um, I was renting this little room. Kind of like in the, like it was in the house, but it was like towards the back side of the house. So as I stepped out of my room, I will be stepping um, out into the backyard, right? Okay, so at that time, um, uh, I had just, um, I think I was like, I don't know, four months pregnant of my son. Four to five, I think it was like five, because I remember I was a little bigger. So I was like five months pregnant of my son, and at that time, my husband used to work at this restaurant um, called Boil Boiling. Yeah, Boiling, the Boiling Crap. Um... And so he used to get off like around midnight, like I'm talking about 12 to 12 30. 
Um, so from there, he would come and visit me like literally almost every day because we literally had no time to see each other during the week. For the fact that our timings were like totally different, you know, I remember I used to, you know, my um, my work schedule was like, you know, some days I would go in early, some days I would go in late. And the thing with him is that he would sometimes go in late and sometimes go in early as well. So we just couldn't, um, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to see each other at all. And um, nonetheless, he used to live at, in, in Los Angeles too. So it was hard for us to be able to see each other. You know, how were we even dating? I don't know. So it was hard for us to see each other. And so he would literally drive um, to my house every night, like after getting off work. And, um, you know, he would hang out with me. We would like, you know, he will catch up on my pregnancy or whatever. And well, that night was like every night we hung out, like always. Right here. Oh, wow. I love that. I, I, I love this palette. Anywho, um, that night we hung out and, you know, we talked about whatever, like always. And I remember he was falling asleep. And it was like already like 2 in the morning, you guys. Like it was almost 2. And he was falling asleep and I'm like, hey, you know, um, I was renting a room so I really couldn't have him sleep over, you know. I respect for the lady that she was so kind to rent us that room. And um, we were at her living room because we would share um living rooms and bathrooms and kitchen. And she was totally cool with me having him over or whatever, you know, as long as we didn't do anything stupid or, you know, as long as we did, you know, like, as long as I didn't take advantage or something. She was really cool. And so... Um, I remember he was like falling asleep already and I mean I was like hey you know like if you really because he was tired you guys like the, those restaurants are you can know, seafood restaurants are like like they're really really busy or whatever and so like you know it's like they're back to back they don't stop you know so he was exhausted I understood he worked every single day I think he only had like one day off and I forgot which one it was um but yeah it was exhausting so I felt bad telling him you know you need to get going or whatever so I'm like hey you know if you can't if you know if you're too exhausted to drive like i can see if i can talk to the um you know to the lady that's renting the room for me and see if you can maybe sleep over you know he's like no i have to get back to work because tomorrow um i have to go back at 12 and i don't want to like it's gonna be too much of a hassle i'm like okay so he was gonna get going already you know i'm like okay well you know if you can come by you know tomorrow night that's perfect if you can't because you're tired I will totally understand, you know, like, I wasn't, I love to see him, obviously, like, I was in love, well, I am in love with him, but, you know, the fresh, fresh, um, fresh in love little couples, you know, every, it's just crazier at that time. And so I told him, okay, if you can, I'll understand, you know, and so he's like, no, I'm gonna get going. So he, he left, and I remember, I remember he left through, okay, there was, there was three doors. There was a door towards the front. A door towards the side of the yard and I and then my door towards the back of the yard so he, I remember he left through the side of the door like through the where the kitchen is and you know I um I waved them out goodbye he's like don't go outside it's, it's kind of cold I don't want you to get sick especially in your state so I remember like I said bye to him and um, I heard him start the car and then leave and so I walk into my room and as soon as I walk into my room like my room was really small you guys like it was really really small it's like those it was like those kind of like those laundry rooms um like it was it was it was just a small room i remember and there was me and my mom there there was like the bunk beds and next to the bunk beds there was like my door towards the backyard right it was my door towards the backyard and there was another door towards um going to the kitchen so i remember that i heard growling like i literally heard like growling like mad growling when like a like i don't know like the the growling was like so um deep and strong that i freaked out for a little bit and i in like okay when creepy things happen you start to you start to like look at all the odds like for example when people have like that sleep paralysis what people think where um there's beliefs that it's because like a bad spirit you know just climbed on top of you or whatever uh there's a scientific explanation for that i think they call it sleep paralysis where like i don't know um I guess your brain is awake for the rest of your body is like shut down or something like that like that's the scientific explanation for it so when creepy things happen you try to find that logical explanation for things right so first thought is there was a dog outside of your house the thing is though it was two in the morning there is no we don't ha we didn't have dogs we didn't have dogs the neighbor I remember didn't have dogs because the neighbors were um our, our house, like, our house was, like, the corner of the of the street. 
like it was a corner house and then the ones um the neighbors next to us they were like those little duplex like those little houses so they're not allowed to have dogs they couldn't have dogs um the most they had was like turtles if i do know so myself they gave me the turtles um the most they had were turtles so maybe you know you think it could be a stranded dog it can be i don't know something but it was two in the morning you guys what the hell is a dog doing in someone's backyard at two in the morning right especially dog i don't know um everything was just everything just it was just so creepy so then um i wanted to open the door like my, my dumbass i wanted to open the door to see like what the hell you know your first reaction you're like okay what the heck and i remember like my husband had just left like my boyfriend at that time had just left so i was like you know wtf you know <laughs> i was like what the heck is going on this concealer by the way you guys this concealer is freaking amazing this is the la colors ultimate ultimate co cover it's amazing i love it i honestly i can say i love it more than um or you know what just as much as the shape tape like that's i know that's a lot to say but yeah and it's only like three bucks i think um anyways um so i obviously automatically want to check what the heck was up because i did feel creeped out usually when situations happen i don't feel creeped out i usually feel like let me find out what this is you know but if you think about it like using your logic your common sense it's not such a smart idea to go outside if you hear an angry growling dog in a pregnant state when you're five months because what the heck are you gonna you know like you can't throw yourself to the ground with the dog like, i'll get down with the dog real quick you know i'll be like hey calm your ass down <laughs> whatever but um i have a child to think about that is in me so that's stupid that would be something really stupid to do remember my hand going towards the doorknob and you know when you're about to like you know um twist it around like you know twist the doorknob to like get to remember hearing boys go like it kind of i don't know if, see this part right here i don't know if it was in my head it was my nerves my instinct i don't know what it was i really don't know what it was um till this day i'm not sure if i heard that voice or it was just in my head like literally my own like conscious telling me don't you know but i literally heard don't and so i i remember like i backed up from the doorknob and um i stood there for like a few seconds i really don't remember how but i remember i stood there for like a good not seconds i stood there for like a good minute and like i was just shocked you know i was just like staring at it i was like okay and then my dumba like i just experienced that and i still thought of going to the window like because there was like blinds so i was like okay i'll just go to the little kitchen window and see what it is and i remember i was gonna go through like i just like i went to the kitchen but i just stood there staring like at the blinds like i couldn't i couldn't even move i couldn't um i couldn't decide whether i really want to do that or not like i i guess i don't know you guys like i don't know really what happened there but i remember like i couldn't um i really didn't want to um do it i don't know but at the same time like i always like try to dominate fear you know like i always try to be like okay if you fear it confront it you know i've always um not always been like that but like you know um i grew to be a different person after everything i experienced and one of the things that i've learned is confront your fear and so if i fear it i'm gonna confront it because i'm scared of it so i don't want to be scared of it so i'm gonna go confront it right but who the hell wants to confront a growling dog anyways right only maria would so i remember picking up the phone and i called my husband and um i don't know it, it might it could have been like 20 minutes after he left and i called him right away and i'm like hi i'm like are you home and he's like yeah i just i just got here why and i you know i told him like oh my god like as soon as you left as soon as you left um i went back into my room and i heard a dog growling and i don't know why automatically like it made me think of you like i don't know why but it made me think of you and he's like oh no he goes i'm, I'm fine he goes um i just got home everything was fine he goes but what do you mean you heard a growling dog i'm like yeah like i literally heard like a dog growling like an angry dog growling he goes oh he goes no don't worry but he's um it's not that he doesn't believe in stuff it's just that he tries he's one of those that tries to ignore it like he can see something happening and he'll literally tell himself no that didn't happen like he's one of those he'll literally just tell himself that it didn't happen because he decides not to believe it happened like he's one of those he's people in denial that they they experience creepy weird stuff but they'll be in denial because no they don't want to accept that, that they were creeped out they don't want to accept that you know something just happened something paranormal 
so you know i stood there in question um i tried to um go to sleep and my mom was sleeping already so i didn't want to wake her up i remember that um because like i didn't really want to climb anymore because we had bunk beds i really didn't want to climb my bunk bed anymore um we would sleep in the same bunk bed until my husband came one time and he's like okay you guys need separate beds so he separated for us and like i had my own bed my mom had my her, her own bed or whatever but um i was scared you know i was thankful that in that moment like we our bunk beds were still together because i was really really scared you know like dude i was freaked out like what the hell growling dog at two in the morning outside so i didn't i didn't um i didn't just pretend it didn't happen but i put it back in my head you know like i didn't want to think about it it was something very creepy and i was scared because that was my home and it wasn't something i want to be thinking about like you know so then um like i told you guys he used to work in in that restaurant and he had a really good friend who he considered his brother like he literally calls him brother and um he told his friend like i don't know like you know he confided in him like you know um my my girlfriend um said she heard this like growling dog at two in the morning and um you know i don't know like i don't know what to think about it what do you think about it and his friend looked at him like looked, like literally like as soon as he said she heard a growling dog at two in the morning after i left his friend looked at him she's like he's like tell her to never open the door whenever she hears that and my husband just looking at him like why and, she, and he goes um he goes that happened to my lady one time when she was pregnant of my son my, my youngest son he goes um and you know she told i don't know who and they told her that that's um that's pretty much um that's like a demon um in a dog form trying to get um at the baby because a little baby's an angel you know it's 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 not um you know um religiously it's it's not it's not in sin you know he's 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 um he's pure you know and and so obviously the the devil doesn't like that you know and so demons don't like that either they don't like angels they they hate angels obviously so he's like so he wants to attack it so don't ever tell her to not ever open the door if she ever hears that again because pretty much they're after her little angel Whew. <laughs> So it's not that I didn't want to believe, okay, because I do believe in the paranormal world, okay? Let's get that straight. It's not that I didn't want to believe what this guy was saying, okay? But just, just check this out. You're telling me that a demon in the form of a dog came to my door, growled in hopes that I would open it to, to see what it was, um, to try to attack my baby? Um, nah, let's try again, you know. Again, not that I don't believe in the paranormal world because I definitely do. You guys all know that I've experienced a couple of things where, which is where I started um, my spooky stories, um, spooky story series, you know. I've experienced stuff myself. And I know that evil exists. And I know that just how there's God, there's devil because I do believe in God, okay. I know that, you know, there's just how there's good, there's evil. I know that. But the fact that something so precious like a dog because to me dogs are like we we don't deserve dogs like to me dogs are like the best possible creation of god that we could have gotten sent to humanity like dogs are the most beautiful thing ever like they teach you so much one of the things they teach you is unconditional love and loyalty something that um it's missing in this um world and it's so sad that an animal itself can be more good to this world they're our own kind you know because if it was if, if it was just animals ruling the world they would just be just fine you know um i don't want to get into how we're destructive we are but it's it's true and if you're butthurt for that i'm not sorry because it's reality okay now if you're one of those who's like trying to make a difference or whatever you know great you know thank you you know but it's true um humanity unfortunately is destructive and um it can be disgusting at times but anyways i'm not gonna get into that um that's really hard to believe though <laughs> um yeah it's just i don't i don't want to think of it i did my liner off camera you guys and no one got time for that now this is something i'm really excited about um i want to use these lashes today um uh they're called jd lashes 
and this girl is so kind like she was she's so cute um these lashes are so beautiful though these are mamacita and they're so cute let me show you my god they're so pretty and then um i also got mm, reina these are beautiful too these are like perfy perfy <laughs> perfect like wispies to like use just with any kind of look and these are the ones that i'm excited to use bonita these are so cute these are these were these are the ones i'm gonna use right now they're so pretty you guys they're so pocket friendly i love these because they're on um, fox mink they're not real mink which is a plus 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 anything um cruelty free is a plus for me i am all there to support you guys if you guys have like a little business going on or whatever and y'all are not using like animal stuff i'm all about it and i'm here to promote you okay if you don't i wouldn't even promote you even if i got paid so and i'm not getting paid for this by the way um this is just i am just i love these lashes um She's such a she's such a cute person. Like she's very kind and very um. I just I just love supporting um anyone who's starting out there with their business and whatever. Um, I feel like every woman who tries to start their own business is very inspirational. Um, just to get themselves out there and actually like start their little business or whatever. It's I mean it's hard you know, especially hard because um nobody believes in you until you get there, and then when you get there, all of a sudden everyone believes in you. So I just feel like any woman that um tries to start anything they have my support 100 and although i don't have the greatest biggest following numbers um i'm still here to support you and if i can um support anyone i'm all about it so i'm in between using mamacita or um bonita i don't know i think i'm gonna use mamacita i'm gonna use mamacita i feel like bonita i want to use them for like a smoky all right so that was that i left off with that idea you know um you know that that was his um hypothesis it was his belief it was what he thought it was and to me well it was just something weird and unexplainable that i really want, didn't want to think about so i let it go fast forward now pretty much um not too long ago because um you know i was inspired by certain bloggers to do scary story times because i'm like hey i got a whole bunch too so i got inspired to do it you know story times and all that um one of them i'm not sure if i got it from it's Haley or Nikki Glamour. I'm not sure which one of them two I got um I got to know what this thing really was. Like I got to confirm what this thing that showed up on my door really was. So I really forgot the story that she they had um said. I really forgot. I totally forgot. And then I commented and I'm like, oh my gosh, I also heard um you know this growling thing on the door of my um my um on um, my door you know and um i've always wondered what the heck it is you know it, it clearly wasn't anything good um it most likely was something evil and um yeah like i would i would love to know like if you have you know any any stories or any information i may be able to use you know i would like to figure out what it was i mean it's been seven years but i would like to know what it was you know so another viewer was able to like kind enough actually to comment down below and answer my request and when this viewer told me what it was i just got the chills you guys look how beautiful these splashes are oh my gosh girlfriend i will be buying more from you i will be restocking from you i will be stalking you girl get ready because these lashes are so freaking gorgeous. Oh my god, I wish the camera made justice. It looks so good in the mirror. But obviously the camera is not going to catch that. I better get a better quality camera. Because it's been doing that with like my makeup looks and stuff that I wear. But um, I hope you guys can like see. They're so gorgeous. They're perfect for this makeup look. Oh my gosh. I can't get over it. Whew. I'm gonna be using this beautiful lipstick um I got from Origins Limited Edition um Cancer Awareness um edition as well. It's this beautiful mauve color, it's so gorgeous, and um it's only twenty dollars and hundred percent of the proceeds um go to uh, cancer awareness, breast cancer awareness. So if you guys have a retail store near you, go check it out. Um it's only one color, it's a uh, dusty bro dusky rose, and it's so beautiful. So, anyway. When this viewer commented on um, this specific uh, guru, I forgot what 
this blogger was but i totally forgot her name I, i'm sorry i don't know if it's be, it's between two but i'm not sure which one it is so i'm not gonna but um she told me but she told me she goes oh that's a hellhound be careful with those and i was like a hell what and i googled it a hellhound yeah that's what it's called hellhound google it when i googled it and you know how like it speaks out the sentence for you when i googled it literally just hearing it gave me the chills so a hellhound it's a demon in a form of a dog You done? Let's try this again. A hellhound is a demon in the form of a dog. A demon in the form of a dog. A demon. Now, I don't know what I did to piss the devil off down there. I don't know what the heck he was up to. I don't know why he... If this is true, I don't know why he would send such thing um, after me and my son. But um, for those of you guys that are not moms, when you find, as soon as you find out that you're pregnant, you're expecting, I don't know how to explain it, but it's this automatic instinct where you're just ready to throw hands. Like... Had I opened this door and this thing would try to attack me, like, we're ready to throw hands. Like, we are ready to throw hands. Like, no questions asked. We're ready. We're up and ready. So, when I confirmed that it really was that, like, I, I'm going to admit, I was creeped out. Like, I got the chills, you guys. I even, like, Googled it again right now just to make sure, like, you know, that I heard right. But, um, when afterwards, like, after it hit me, I was actually pretty worked up. Because I'm like, I don't know what the heck I did to piss you off, but you really send this thing after me and my baby, you know? Like, if, if you know, considering the fact that, you know, somebody had already thought that it was that. Somebody had told me that, um, like, somebody had already thought and experienced that before with, with their um, significant other. Then somebody in the comments also described it. And then I researched it, I googled it, and it tells me what it is. It's like I must have I must have really pissed you off or, or did something where you thought it was only fair to send me this thing to most likely attack me because what what was it gonna do say hi you know I don't know you guys what do you guys think because I don't know um until this day like I'm still like how oh, was it really that because I don't know what else could it be you know like what else could have been like two in the morning a growling dog like what the heck. And yes, I never checked, um, and I'm grateful I didn't because I don't know what would have happened if I had, you know, like, I don't know, if, I don't know, you guys, I don't know, but, um, I'm not educated and knowledgeable about these things, I just experienced it, but I don't know what it, what it was, you know, so I don't know, what do you guys think, because it's, it, it is creepy, you know, like, that's creepy, so yeah, and until this day, I don't know what I must have done to really piss them off for him to send such horrifying thing to my door to try to do whatever that it was supposed to do nothing good i'm thinking i'm pretty sure um now the reason why i do believe that it could have been that is because my mom went and told me a story um about my grandma and two of my mom's sisters um like they were really little and they were like walking at nighttime towards somewhere and my grandma had like her newborn um like not newborn but she was like months old um in her hands in her arms and then one time out of nowhere like um she said that they were just walking like on a sidewalk or something um or on a road and that this like black dog with red eyes just went in front of them and they wouldn't do anything it just went in front of them it was just like mad like just staring at, at my grandma like just staring at them like can you imagine this big black dog with red eyes just staring at you and so my grandma oh man i just wish she was alive because she has so many stories like to share but my grandma, she she had a lot of encounters with like diabolical things. Um, I wish I can get into detail why, um, but it will be a longer story. Um, it would be another story though. It's it's something very interesting. It's very sad. Um, to why she had so much closure. I want to say with these things. Um, I'll I'll tell you guys that story later on. But um, she had a lot of encounters with um diabolical things like the devil and whatnot, and um. 
Uh, my grandma didn't fear it. My grandma wasn't scared. Uh, she was um, she was pretty much used to it. Because like I said, she had so many encounters that she was like, oh my God, here you are again kind of thing. But my grandma um, also didn't want to near her. So she knew how to get rid of it. So what she did, because um, she would, um, she held her baby and her two little girls. And she would try, you know, she would try to walk this way and the dog will get in front of her again. And then she would try to walk this way and the dog will get in front of her again. Like... The dog was just not letting them through, but he wasn't also, he also wasn't doing, he wasn't growling, he wasn't, I'm um, trying to attack them, he was just, he just stood there in front of them. Like, weird, right? And so my grandma, um, held her little, um, uh, month old, like, in front of her hands, um, like that, and then she just started praying. I really don't know what prayers, but she started praying, and, um, she told the little, her, her little girls to, like, close their eyes and pray with her, and as soon as they opened their eyes, this thing was gone. So that's, that's the only reason why I believe it was that. It was a couple of people that told me what it was. Um, I researched it, and I really do believe it was. Like, um, I do believe in the paranormal, and I do, like I said, there's, there's good and there's evil too, and I believe in both. Um, you can't believe just in one without believing in the other. Like, there's no way. So I know as a fact that this was, like, you're probably most likely real, um, Things don't really happen to me in, in that um, aspect, only the ones that I already told you about. Um, I, like I said, as soon as I feel some kind of fear, um, I confront it. And I, you know, start saying things, you know, like I start, if I feel like there's there's a presence, because you can feel them. Like, I mean, if you're open to the spirit world, like to the spirit world, I don't know why I can't talk, you guys. I can never talk. I don't know why I can't talk. My goodness. But if you're open to the spiritual world, which um, most likely, if you're a really good person that believes in positiveness and um, in God and in good vibes and in good spirits, you're pretty much open to it. Um, anything, if you believe in the bad and you believe in the good and you believe in these things, you're open to it regardless. Some people are just more open than others or more sensible, like more sensible, more sensitive towards these things than others. But um, you could you could feel a presence like when it's it's something that it's not supposed to be in your home or it's not welcome. You do feel this presence, and when you do feel this presence in your home, um, saging is great. Saging is great, um, but you have to sage with a positive vibe, a positive mind, and you have to pray. Um, you don't just burn little plants around. Like you literally have to like you have to commit. Um, but when you do feel that there's something in your house that shouldn't be there, you freely and loudly say. Um, if there's anything negative, any being that is not, um, of good, like, I want you to know you are not welcome here and you need to leave. Like, I know this sounds crazy, but trust me, you guys, when I started opening up to these things, I started feeling things. Like, I started feeling presence and to tell you that sometimes I will wake up like at four in the morning for no reason. And I would just wake up scared. Why? Why would I wake up scared? Like, why did I have to be scared of? This, this has been my home for a year. So why did I have to be scared of, you know? Um, what did I have to be, yeah, what did I have to be scared of? So um, there was times, but you have to get spiritually and mentally strong and confide in in, um, in God or in whatever is it that you're, you're, um, you trust. I don't know, you guys. I don't want to shove religions on your throat because I'm not even religious myself. I just believe in God and that's it. I don't. Nah, I don't practice things. I don't do anything. I just throw positive vibes and expect positive to come to me. I do pray. I do, um, I do, um, try to be the best good person that I possibly could. Um, and I try to keep my, my heart and my soul clean of negative things. And the only way of doing that is just being a good person and just wishing great for others and never wishing anything wrong because everything comes back, you guys. It's true. Whether you believe in God or not, anything you throw out the universe, it's going to come right back to you. You can call it karma. You can call it universe. You can call it God. You can call it life. You can call it whatever you want, but it's real. It's 100% real. Whatever you, if you throw bad out there, it's going to come back to you. It's going to come back to you. So that's why be a good person. Don't allow these things to follow you around. And if they do follow you around, let it be for the right reasons. I know this is weird, but um, let it be because they're pretty pissed off that you just won't give in to their side. Or let it be because, um, I don't know, they just know that you're open to these kind of things, so they want to mess with you or stuff like that, you know. But don't, um, if they follow you around, don't let it be because you're an evil person or you're doing evil things or you're doing bad towards others because that's such an ugly thing. Like, you can't live in peace like that. Like, you can't possibly live in peace like that. So, yes, you guys, um... Please let me know what you guys think about this whole situation thing. Like I said, I believe what I believe. Um, I didn't want to really believe it at first. I just want to leave it as a last option. But then um, as these things started happening, like I started 
um, especially thanks to this like beautiful um, viewer of hers that like commented, like took the time to comment, like oh that's so this thing right here, and I searched it up and it turned out it was and. You guys, even right now, when I I was I was googling it, like I got chills again just just thinking about it. It's just such a creepy thing. Um, I do have a couple of more stories. Um, I'm actually getting my mom to tell me um th their experience. My mom didn't really experience anything. My grandma, however, and um my mom's sisters did because my mom's sisters were very rebellious and they were like they would talk crap to their own mother and you know that's really bad. Um, so they would experience things. So. I am getting her to tell me more stories, so I'll share them with you. Um, I do have one coming towards your way, um, and it's something that happened to my son when he was like months old. So I do have that, um, and that's coming soon. But yeah, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this story, please give me a thumbs up. I really hope you guys um, enjoyed it. Um, I really hope this video doesn't come out longer than it should be. Um, I welcome you guys to, to give me any requests. I need you to know that I really, really enjoy doing this. Like, I can't, I can't express that enough. I enjoy creating this content. I, I don't remember enjoying it this much when I barely started. Like, I don't know if I just grew more passion for it. I'm not sure, but I really enjoy doing this. And um, this can't be possible without you, beautiful viewers, that take the time to watch my video. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Also, um, cancer awareness, cancer prevention, cancer month, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to self inspect, inspect yourself. Also, getting your checkups. Um, but don't forget to always. Um, inspect yourself it's okay you know it's something you do on your own and um, any suspicion anything weird please 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 go get it checked because prevention is key to saving your life you guys have an amazing and beautiful day and thank you so much for watching have a great day bye guys